WPSU is your source for Penn State sports, Penn State research, Penn State community. But we can't do it without your support. Become a member today and get a DVD of your favorite Penn State show. Knowledge is power. They come from schools all over Pennsylvania. They learn. Who wrote the importance of being what is the of They practice. What is, is the What is Japan's highest mountain? What is the capital of Iowa? They compete. To succeed, they need brain power and quick reflexes. This is Scholastic Scrimmage. Production funding provided in part by. Juniata College, committed to keeping a great education within reach for Pennsylvania students and their families. With rigorous academics, flexible programs, and a welcoming community, Juniata College is committed to students graduating within four years. Learn more at juniata.edu. Join us as we welcome Bishop McCourt High School from Johnstown and Southern Fulton Junior Senior High School from Warfordsburg. And now, here's the host of Scholastic Scrimmage, David Price. Hello, and thank you for joining us here for the round of 16, where the winner of each game moves on in our run for the championship. The championship game is on May 17th, when you will see it here on WPSU. An added feature to each game during the tournament will be a question for each team from a panel of experts, and you'll see those questions at the end of the first round. Right now, our teams are all set to match wits in our contest, so before we begin, let's meet our team from Bishop McCourt. Hi. I'm Nolan DeFrancesco, I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Rachel Challich and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Marafino, I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Matt Kornoski, I'm a senior. The alternate for Bishop McCourt is Sarah Rogers, a junior, and the team's coach is Fran Posen. And now let's meet the competitors from Southern Bolton. Hi, I'm Dorothy Hakakian, I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Daniel Wolf. I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Kelly Elman. I'm a senior. Nathan Wurtenberg, senior. The alternate for Southern Fulton is Christine Barlow, a senior. And the team's coach is Justin Scholes. Our judge for today's contest is Jessica Peters from WPSU's Educational Services Division. If you would like to know more about our game, you'll find a complete set of rules at WPSU.org. Team captains, let's get her going. Come on up, shake a handshake if you would, please. Good luck to you both. Let's go with round one. The opening category is arts and literature. Bishop McCourt, you get the opening question. Queequeg was the chief harpooner in what Herman Melville novel? Nolan. The Last of the Mohicans. That was Moby Dick. Arts and literature for Southern Fulton. What character of British folklore was said to have fought against injustice with his merry men? Daniel. Robin Hood. Robin Hood is correct. Your follow-up, Southern Fulton. Carol Kennicott tries to enlighten the small town residents of Gopher Prairie, Minnesota in what novel by Sinclair Lewis? Time gotcha, that is Main Street. History for Bishop McCourt. I'll need a quite specific answer on this one. What country developed the single stage Nodong-1 missile in the 1980s and the three stage Taipodong-1 missile that was tested in 1998? Rachel. North Korea. North Korea is correct. That's why we asked for specificity. There are two of them. Your follow up, Bishop McCourt. I will need a full name on this one. What founder of the Mongol Empire was known as Temujin before changing his name to reflect his status as ruler? Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. Rachel. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan is correct. Social studies for Southern Fulton. Morgan Changarai leads the opposition to Robert Mugabe in what African country once known as Rhodesia? Daniel. The Sudan? No, it's Zimbabwe. Social studies for Bishop McCourt. Who became the 90th 
prime minister of Japan and the first to be born after World War II on September 26, 2006. He is Shinzo Abe. History for Southern Fulton. What man, who in 1980 became the youngest senator from Indiana ever elected, was elected vice president in 1988? Daniel. Dan Quayle. Dan Quayle is correct. Your follow-up, Southern Fulton. What Chinese dynasty, which replaced the Mongol-led Yuan dynasty, ruled until being overthrown by the Manchu in the 17th century? Daniel. Ming. I heard Nathan say, all I can think is Ming, <laughs> and you are absolutely correct. <laughs> Why, you got to take a shot. Hey, it's time for our first expert question, and this one goes to Bishop McCourt, so pay attention to your monitor, and our first expert, Dr. Ann Crowder. In 1865, which Augustinian monk published the paper Experiments in Plant Hybridization on his work with peas? Rachel. Gregor Mendel. Gregor Mendel is correct. Your follow-up, Bishop McCourt. What is the sign of any angle whose value is evenly divisible by 180? Rachel. Zero. It is zero. And it is time to uh, go to our second expert question. This one is for Southern Fulton. Uh, do pay attention to your monitor and Dr. Richard Alley. Chalk, limestone, and sandstone are what type of rock formed by precipitation or deposition? Nathan. Sedimentary. They are sedimentary rocks. That is correct. Your follow-up, Southern Fulton. Spherical geometry lacks what kinds of lines that, in Euclidean geometry, have different y-intercepts but equal slopes and therefore never intersect? Daniel. Parallel. They are parallel lines. And that is the question that's going to conclude our first round. Our score is 50 to 40. Bishop McCourt, you're the one with 40, which means that you get our first fast track of the day. Uh, the rules are 60 seconds, 10 questions. Love to see them all answered. Are you ready, Bishop McCourt? Yep. So oh, good. We're ready to go. Let's go fast track. Sidney Carton dies in place of Charles Darnay in what Charles Dickens novel? Tell Elizabeth. Tale Two Cities. Correct. What navigator employed by the English reached North America in 1497? Rachel. Raleigh. Cabot. Coffee contains what alkaloid that acts as a stimulant? Rachel. Caffeine. Correct. What Dutch artist created the Night Watch? Rachel. Van Gogh. Rembrandt. What Democrat is the current governor of New York? Rachel. Uh, no. Elliot, Elliot Spitzer. What transition metal with atomic number 28 is used in a namesake coin? Nolan. Nickel. Correct. What Roman poet of Tristia also wrote the Metamorphoses? Elizabeth. Ovid. Correct. Pope Urban II called for the first crusade to liberate what city? Nolan. Jerusalem. Correct. Giuseppe Garibaldi devoted his life to the unification of what country? Rachel. Italy. Correct. What 1973 Supreme Court decision legalized the access to abortion? Nolan. Roe v. Wade. Roe v. Wade is correct. <laughs> Felt the time running out on there. <laughs> <laughs> I love getting in the whole fast track, but it's a little intense, so we take a little break here and uh, re-meet our student scholars from Bishop McCourt. Immediately to my right is Nolan DeFrancesco, who is a, a senior with McCourt, and uh, tells me something about chess boxing. Chess boxing I'm not really familiar with. Keska say this chess boxing. Well, you're right. It's not very popular as yet in this country, but I think it might be a good idea for your network to pick up. Um, it's, a, <laughs> it's a sport slash chess match where um, 11 rounds alternating between chess and boxing. Um, it's timed like a normal chess match would, and it, it truly uses both your body and mind 
to its extent. Yeah, and come to the tenth round, the mind part is getting a little bit yes. uh, sapped. Yeah, it's good to see. We'll, we'll, we'll check in with PBS, see if they're up for that. <laughs> good luck today. Rachel Chalich is a senior from Bishop McCourt, and Pi Day is her favorite day. Does that mean everybody brings in like a cherry and an apple and a pumpkin? And um, I prefer strawberry, but um, Pi Day is uh, March 14th, 314, 3.14. Pi happens to be my favorite Greek letter, so it's such a great day in our math class, and we all bring in Pi, but we really celebrate one of the most used Greek letters. I, I did not know until this very moment that there was a Pi Day, actually. That's you could celebrate it here. I could. We may just do that. It's good to see you, Rachel. Good luck today. Elizabeth Marafino, senior from McCourt. And uh, you wanted to have this TV show with a quirky detective, but you're involved in a production right now that you want to tell us a little bit more. It's fame. Yes, we're doing fame. That's how you have to say it. We'd all decided in our show. With like jazz hands and everything. Like jazz yeah. Fame. <laughs> And, you know, it's like the movie Fame, just different characters. It's essentially the same story, and I play Serena Katz, the budding young actress. And that's <laughs> it seems to be a natural role for you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Good luck to you today. Good to see you. And Matt Kornowski, uh, also a senior with Bishop McCourt. And if you haven't heard of freerice.com, interesting place. And uh, what is it just for the, the well, audience? It's, it's a great website. And you go there and you answer vocabulary questions. They test your vocabulary. And for each vocabulary question you answer correctly, they donate uh, 20 grains of rice to a foundation, which in turn gives it to poorer countries around the world. And that is freerice.com. Yeah. And you test your vocab, and believe me, the questions are tough, and you rack up bowls of rice really quick. Yep. <laughs> it's a yep. fun place to go. Good to see you, Matt. Okay, we're in round two and three. Going to change the rules a little bit. There's a toss-up question that both teams have the opportunity to answer. A correct answer to the toss-up question will earn that team a follow-up. Remind you both that if you buzz in early, that is while I am reading the toss-up question. And then you give an incorrect answer. Five points will be deducted from your team's score. And that's what we do in rounds two and three. First toss-up question in round two comes in the category of arts and literature. Who explored ten decades of black life in Pittsburgh in plays like Joe Turner's Come and Gone, The Piano Lesson, and Fences? Elizabeth. August Wilson. August Wilson is correct. Your follow-up to court. Asher B. Durand and Thomas Cole belonged, <clears throat> excuse me, belonged to what American artistic school named for its members' frequent depictions of a New York River Valley. Hudson River School. Rachel. Hudson River School. It is the Hudson River School. Toss up in math and science. Robert Morris wrote the first widespread internet example of what kind of malware that copies itself and fills up the storage space on a driver network. Nolan. Trojan virus? No. Southern Fulton? He is the guy who came up with the worm. Actually, the worm. Social studies, toss up question. What case involving an undelivered commission to serve as a justice of the peace was decided in 1803 and led to the creation of judicial review? Nolan. Marbury versus Madison. That is correct. Your follow up, Bishop McCourt. The 1919 Treaty of New Yi forced what World War I ally of Germany to give its territory on the Aegean to Greece? Rachel. Ottoman Empire. That was Bulgaria. Geography, toss-up question. The Great Smoky Mountains, Shiloh National Cemetery, Graceland. Rachel. Tennessee. And the city of Nashville are all located in what southern state Nas Tennessee is correct? Your follow-up, Bishop McCourt. What gulf that shares its name with an American state separates the Mexican state of Sonora from Me Mexico's longest peninsula? Rachel. Gulf of California. Indeed, the Gulf of California. Pennsylvania, toss-up question. In 1859, what man, with the help from uh, Uncle Billy Smith, launched the modern oil industry with the world's first drilled oil well in Titusville? Daniel. Drake. Edwin L. Drake is correct. Your follow-up, Southern Fulton. What Eastern European-based religious group founded the Pennsylvania towns of Bethlehem and Nazareth? It was
It was the Moravians. Arts and Literature Toss-Up Question. We've got music, please. The Cuban Overture, which you just heard, was originally titled Rumba and was written by what American composer of Rhapsody in Blue? Elizabeth. George Gershwin. George Gershwin is correct. Your follow-up, Bishop McCourt. What note lies a minor third above C? E flat. Rachel. E flat. E flat is correct. History, toss-up question. I will need first and last names, please. What president's attempt to remove Edwin M. Stanton as Secretary of War? Daniel. Andrew Johnson. In violation of the Tenure of Office Act led to his impeachment in 1868. Andrew Johnson's correct. Your follow-up, Southern Fulton. What future secretary to Representative John Conyers pur purposefully violated Chapter 6, Section 11 of the Montgomery Bus Segregation Statute in 1955? Daniel. Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks is correct. Math and science toss-up question. Pencil and paper may help. What is the value of x if x is greater than 0 and x cubed plus 9x squared minus 4x minus 36 equals 0? X would equal two in that case. Social studies, tell us a question. We direct your attention to the monitor. In Egyptian myth, what jackal-headed god, Daniel? Um, Isis. No, I'll finish the question for Bishop McCourt. Uh, illustrated there, uh, guards the embalming process and weighs the souls of the dead. Elizabeth. Anubis. Anubis is correct. Your follow-up, Bishop McCourt. What W-shaped constellation is named for a queen whose boast of beauty caused Poseidon to send a sea monster to ravage her lands? Cassiopeia. Rachel. Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia is correct. And that is going to be the question that concludes our second round, which brings us to our second fast track of the day. McCork got the first one, so Southern Fulton, we turn to you now with 10 questions and 60 seconds. Are you ready? They are. Fast track. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, knuckle me and all that good stuff. Let's go. Fast track. What unit is used to measure the purity of gold? Daniel. Carrot. Correct. What planet's largest moon is Titan? Daniel. Saturn. Correct. What Missouri senator succeeded Franklin Roosevelt as president? Nathan. Truman. Correct. What 35th U.S. president won a Pulitzer for Profiles in Courage? Kelly. Kennedy. Correct. What half-Hungarian member of the UMP is the current president of France? Sarkozy. Air France and British Airways jointly operated what supersonic airplane? Daniel. The Concorde. Correct. What Italian city was ruled by the monk Girolambo Savano Savonarola? Daniel. Naples. Florence. What's the capital of Iowa? Daniel. Des Moines. Correct. Cherbourg and Le Havre are port cities on what arm of the Atlantic Ocean? English Channel, 19 of the 20, 20 tallest peaks in the United States are in what state? Daniel. Alaska. They are indeed in Alaska. And that wraps up our second fast track of the day. So we turn to meet our student scholars from Southern Fulton. Immediately to my left uh, is Dorothy Hakakian, who is in the first position today. And after, after all the times you've been here, you've always been third in line. I'm really confused. Uh, so you are headed to where? In a Dolly Parade. What's a Dolly Parade? Well, it's a parade in Dollywood that they have, I'm not sure, every so often. But this one's special because when we're going, Dolly Parton should be there, and she should be the Grand Marshal of the parade. So it's not like Disney World where Mickey always shows up. No. This you know, Dolly will be there. <laughs> Excellent. Well, good luck with that, and uh, good luck with the rest of the day. Daniel Wolf, junior captain from Southern Fulton. By the time this show actually hits the air, which is, you know, you're watching it right now, he will have been in Hamlet. Who are you in Hamlet? Sir? Horatio, and that's Hamlet's best friend. And how did you, I mean, not many schools do Shakespeare. Oh, um, actually it's at the community theater that oh, we, uh, okay. do plays at in West Virginia. Okay, well, good luck, break a leg and all that good stuff. Kelly Elbin is a senior from Southern Fulton, and uh, here we are speaking of the, the future, but also have to speak in the past. This was taped on the day after Brett Favre retired, and Kelly is just brokenhearted. I am. I've been a Packers fan since I can remember, and I can't think of any other quarterback 
manning the team other than Brett Favre. So today I'm sort of playing for him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, good luck with that, Kelly. And uh, good luck uh, wherever you are, quarterback guy. Uh, Nathan Wurtenberg is a senior who is, uh, she's a big Brett fan. You are a big fan of whom? Dido. Who's Dido? Uh, well, she's a singer. And uh, if my heart could write songs, they would sound like hers. Wow. That's probably the most profound thing that's ever been said on Scholastic Scrimmage. That's Dido, not the Queen of Carthage, but the, the singer. Right. Uh, okay. Good to see you, Nathan. Good luck as we go to the final round. First toss-up in the final round is in the category of Pennsylvania. What town in Perry County is home to the Carson Long Military Institute as well as the county seat? Rachel. Perry. No. Southern Fulton. Daniel. Bloomsburg. Boy, that was close, but no, it's New Bloomfield. Toss-up in current events. In May 2007, Israeli archaeologist Ehud Zetnetzer and his team claimed to have found the tomb of what king of Judea at the time of Jesus' birth? Rachel. Herod. Herod is correct. Your follow-up, Bishop McCourt. The Economist used the headline Saffron Revolution to describe the fall 2007 pro-democracy protest led by Buddhist monks in what Asian country? <coughs> Rachel. Myanmar. Myanmar is correct. Math and science. Toss-up question. What kind of half-reaction in which electrons are treated as if they were reactants must always be coupled with an oxidation? Rachel. Reduction. Reduction is correct. Your follow-up, Bishop McCourt. The Alvarez theory that a meteorite impact wiped out the dinosaurs is supported by the abundance of what transition metal at the KT boundary? Rachel. Aluminum? No, it's iridium. A whole bunch of iridium right there. Social studies, toss-up question. What religion is at the center of the conflicts in Zane Gray's Riders of the Purple Sage and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's A Study in Scarlet? Rachel. Catholicism? Nope. Southern Fulton? Nathan. Buddhism? No, it is Mormonism. Arts and literature, toss-up question. We direct your attention to the monitor. What 17th century Flemish painter cre created the exchange of princesses seen here as part of the Marie de Medici cycle? It's Peter Paul Rubens. Pennsylvania toss-up question. The city of bridges, the city of champions, and the steel city. Matt. Pittsburgh. Are all nicknames for what Pennsylvania city? Pittsburgh is correct. Your follow-up, Bishop McCourt. What noted astronomer and inventor was born in Germantown, was the first director of the U.S. Mint, and in 1784 completed the unfinished survey of the Mason-Dixon line near the Delaware River? His name was David Rittenhouse. History, toss-up question. What man who invaded Italy in 452 on the pretext of being engaged to Honoria, the sister of the Roman emperor, was best known as the leader of the Huns? Nathan. Attila. Attila the Huns, correct your follow-up, Southern Fulton. I'll we'll need a name and a number or a name and title here. What English king conquered Wales and defeated the rebellion of William Wallace to earn the epithet Hammer of the Scots? Daniel. Edward I. That is correct. Edward Longshanks also. Geography, tell us a question. If you are at mile zero on the U.S. Highway 1, what Florida island are you on? Rachel. Key West. You are on Key West. Your follow-up, Bishop McCourt. The Comoros Islands lie in what channel, an arm of the Indian Ocean that is named for a nation on the African mainland? That is the Mozambique Channel. 
Pennsylvania toss-up question, we direct your attention to the monitor. In 1873, Andrew Carnegie built what Bessemer Process steel mill seen here on the historic site of Braddock's Field? Matt. Homestead steel mill? Nope. Southern Fulton. It's the J. Edgar Thompson Steelworks. Oh. And that is going to be our game ending buzzer. And I turn to Bishop McCourt and say, uh, we are going to see you back here on Saturday, May 3rd in the next round as part of the grade eight. Southern Fulton, there are three of you who are seniors, right? Enjoyed having you here. Wish you the best of luck in the future. Daniel, you're the junior. I hope we see you back again and good luck with uh, with Hamlet. And uh, thank you very much for being here with us on Scholastic Scrimmage. Do stay with us our next half hour as we see students from Du Bois and Marion Center compete in the round of 16 here on Scholastic Scrimmage. Production funding for Scholastic Scrimmage is provided in part by Juniata College, committed to keeping a great education within reach for Pennsylvania students and their families. With rigorous academics, flexible programs, and a welcoming community, Juniata College is committed to students graduating within four years. Learn more at juniata.edu. We'd like to thank Jostens for providing special yearbooks for all the teams participating this year, and rings for the championship team of Scholastic Scrimmage. For over a century, Jostens has been helping people celebrate, reward, and remember the greatest moments of their lives. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.